Hi, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and here we are with the HOA Blues going on again. We're at the Creative Mediation Services, and we're going to go inside. We have a 1 o'clock, and we were told to come early so they can instruct us how we're supposed to act or do or whatever. And we're mediating with, hey, Rusty, who are we mediating with? It's the San Luis Mediation. It's free service for anybody that has an issue between the, a city or um, a person and the, mm -hmm. the mediation will come in and listen to both sides and give you give you a fair opinion. So you're going with your HOA committee, is that right? And then you, and they're the third party? Yes. Okay, and it's all paid for by the city? Yes. Through our tax dollars? Yes. Okay, and so they're going to mediate. What are they going to mediate? What's the deal? Um, my landscaping planter boxes, we're going to mediate that. Okay. I have planter boxes, they don't want them. In the, in the driveway. And you took the them driveway. out of the driveway already? Yeah. I'm going to try to get them, I'm going to try to put them back. Uh huh, okay. So if they say that they're okay, then it gives me a good place. I'm going to mediate my um, um, clothesline. Mm hmm. They, the CCNR say you can have a clothesline providing it's, it's protected from the eyesight of the majority of the people. Uh -huh. and that's and the way mine is. You'd have to really get in there before you before you could see your clothesline. Yeah. I know that much. That's the, so. the deal. Is a lot of these things the the boards know that they're wrong on. Uh huh. And I went to a lawyer, and he said they're wrong on all these things. Uh huh. But you got to do as they say, or you get fined. Mm -hmm. First time amount, the second time a triple amount, uh -huh. the fourth time a huge amount. They keep fining you, and so they'll t attach it to your property. So they can do whatever they want, even though the bylaws or the CCNRs do say that they can't do this. They can do it anyway, and then find you on top of it and put you through HE double toothpicks, huh? Yes, yes. Wow. So this is the hearing we're going to. Wow, and, we'll and so this is all part of the HE double toothpicks, I suppose. Are you all stressed yeah. out? Um, well, it's taken me most of the night to get stuff put together. Mm -hmm. And photographs, we have photographs graphs of about 40 homes. They have other planters in their driveway and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. That have the same issues as mine. Uh -huh. as, as we've talked before, is in 2001, they formed a tribe, a tribe of three people uh -huh. that started the board. And they decided this is what the neighborhood's going to be like and this is who's going to live there. Yeah, it's not really, I wouldn't consider it a tribe because tribe is friendly amongst each other. I'd, I consider it a private club in their mind. Mm -hmm. And if you do not... Um, abide by their private club rules in their mind, they're going to harass the crap out of you, bully you right out of the neighborhood, and you know, even um, to this point of your health issues and all that, it's just ridiculous. They give you so much stress, it's ridiculous. And you don't get paid, do you get paid for all this time that you're putting into this harassment? N nothing, and they don't get paid on the board neither, but <clears throat> they get the pleasure of bullying you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's really bizarre is that you're actually paying for your bullying because it's paid through your HOA dues. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Which is sad. It's just bizarre. HOAs need to go, as far as yes. I'm concerned. Um, you can go back to neighborhoods. You can yes. go back to neighborhoods and people not controlling Same. the neighborhood. Anyway. So, um, anyway, well, thank you very much. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.